Hello, this is Slingshot Warrior. And this is almost finished. Look at this. Ah, uh, look at this. Uh, several layers of tarp like, have been put down. You can see. Look all around here, up here. Um, several layers of tarp have been stapled to these walls. Uh, Lady Blay, tell us about what you've done here. What um, we've done here. I basically have weatherproofed the entire shed using three mil plastic. And that's around all the walls, that's on the ceiling, and under your feet. I also slanted the ceiling so that way if it rained, because there's a few holes in the tin roof, that it would slide down and roll off right into the outside of it. Um, yep. We've also covered every bit of the straw with basic regular plastic three mil again. Yeah. And the tarp that you're standing on, that is the floor tarp. Um, me and Slingshot Warrior have been working all day. I worked all day yesterday on it, and today Slingshot Warrior came and to my rescue to help me finish it up yep. with a couple staple guns and a screw gun and a hammer. Well, let's show them the door, Lady Blade. And yes, let's show them the door. Now, this is the beginning. But uh, we're going to seal this up. Uh, Lady Blade put a lock on this. Show her the lock. Show them the lock, Lady Blade. You, you, with your hand. See? Oh, it's locked. So I got to get the keys for it. Because you turned it without the key, so. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Now, I've installed this my with her, with her help and installed the handle and the lock with my drill. With a screw bit on my drill, no man. It's teamwork. Yeah. This is a basic, really nice lock, where you can only see, and then once it's locked, it's locked. You can't turn it. Exactly. I, I installed this handle for her. This new handle on this very Victorian. Iron work. Yeah, it's Victorian iron work. No longer in work, as you could say. So we've done added some new things to it. We're on a continual basis. So we've added the tarp and we're gonna add a fire pit. Yep. And uh Lady Blade, what do you like about being in the backwoods and, and actually building a shelter like this? How's you turn converting something that was old into a shelter? Um what I like about it most is that it's private, there are no troubles, um, it's absolutely, I wouldn't say cheap in order to restore something like me and Slingshot Warrior have done, but yet it is cost effective, meaning there's no price too high when it comes to shelter, protection, yeah. and privacy, and peace. This could be used so that's for. That's what I like about this all place it. is really out of the way, so we can use it for a variety of different things, can't we? Oh yes. And um. And pretty soon, not long after, it will be Slingshot Warrior's very own little hideaway. Hideaway. <laughs> like well, a man cave. Yep. More on this later. Bye.